Welcome to this B1 printer delivery uh, e-learning session on mass delivery, where we in this session will go about the usage of the mass delivery. So if you are the user of it, this is the session for you. If you want to configure it, there's a separate uh, session on that. So uh, seek that out if that's what you're looking for. But let's start with the usage inside Business One. So here we are in the system, and the mass delivery is uh, have multiple places where you can uh, get, grab hold of it. Uh, so on the sales, there's the mass delivery. On the purchase, there's the mass delivery. It's essentially just going to the same place, but it's uh, you you might need it for multiple places. So let's just take it from sales and have a look. So mass delivery screen. The first thing you need to do is you need to select the document you want to. Uh, or the type of document you want to run. So that could, for example, be sales order. Then in here, uh, you then need to choose which report configuration. It, you can see here it says default BP selection. But if we go into the configurations in the other session, you can actually uh, say that I have two different ways of sending out sales orders one way and the Christmas present way or the uh, the VIP customers and this and the other ones in there. So there is possible to do something there. Um, and then we have the action, which uh, can be various different things like email, preview, print, and save. And that all depends on what has been set up. So if you only see email, that's because the one who have configured your system will only let you send emails. If you only see two, that means and so on. In this case, all four options are available. Then you have, all depending on which type of uh, thing you're sending, you have various different options. You can see some of them come in, some of them go away, uh, and that all depends on various things. But it's more or less report selection. So for example, if it's a sales order, it's in what period of time was the sales order created, what is the number of the sales order? What is the branch if you use multiple branches? So that is all depending on the different things. For example, in sales opportunity, there is no branch, so it doesn't make sense to have that selection and so on. So um, that is the fields up here. And then we have some checkboxes. So the first one is include documents already handled by B1 Print Delivery. This is uh, if you want to just see all the new things that pre B1 Print Delivery have not uh, touched yet. And by touched, it's a report action that is not the preview action, meaning it's not a report action preview. We don't see that as something that has been handled by Print and Delivery. But an email, a uh, great activity, and so on, that is what we include as. Uh, handled by. So if you just want the, the things that have not been sent out yet, you don't check this off. But if you need to find something that has already been sent, you might want to need to check this off so you can see it again. Second, we have include documents already printed, meaning if we go to the sales order, or in this case it was the invoice, so let's take that. It is more or less if it says status open printed or just status. So there can be multiple states here. Um, and if you say documents already printed, even if it says open printed, it would come in, else all the ones that are marked as printed will not uh, join here. Next up is open only, meaning only the ones that are open, if uh, you want that, else it can also take the closed ones. And finally, uh, if you want to exclude cancelled and uh, cancellation documents, meaning if I were to cancel uh, this invoice, it would be excluded in the system uh, unless I uncheck this thing. The final one is the preview, uh, meaning that you can uh, you can either just make your selection and press OK, and it immediately begins to do stuff. Or the most more common thing is that you do preview. And in the preview screen, you see all the things that your selection 
would now include and you would be able to check off either separately or just select all and send out the things by the OK button. That is essentially everything there is to know about this one from a user's perspective. Again, different uh, selections based on different uh, objects, but that is what you have to do. Um, in a separate session, uh, we go all about into the configuration of this, how this can be reacted to and everything. But for now, thank you for attending. Hope it was beneficial and see you in the next one.